Hey friends, Gator Mom here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today I have two styles from the brand Negetti to share with you. All right, so I sure hope that I'm saying this brand's name right <laughs> because I feel like it has been said online like a couple of different ways, but it is the brand Negetti and I have two of their totes here to share with you. I have been so interested in this brand. It started to kind of pop up on my feed. I am absolutely obsessed with this like woven look for fall and I think that these totes are awesome. Um, I was thinking for a long time and kind of researching and trying to decide what color I wanted and what size I wanted. And I knew I wanted the totes from their St. Bart's line. I believe that's what it's called. They have a couple of different styles. They have some with longer um, like shoulder straps, different style bags. These were just the ones that kind of really spoke to me. I love the MZ Wallace Metro Tote collection. And these were very similar to um, just kind of the overall look of those bags and I just loved the overall like functionality of them so I went ahead and I grabbed the medium size as well as the petite size I believe I will double check it's the one that's smaller like right under this one just so I can kind of have both and compare them and share my thoughts all right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the larger of the two. This is the medium size in the color Ecru, I believe. It is a really pretty, like, cream colored tote. Their bags are made out of a neoprene material, which is so interesting to me because neoprene holds up really, really well over time. You don't have to baby it, and I love that this bag still looks kind of like a classic luxury type tote but it's not one that I'm gonna have to be like super careful with. Um, I have heard online that you can machine wash these since, since they are neoprene. I have not researched it, I didn't look it up, I didn't ask the brand or anything like that. I likely probably wouldn't machine wash these, but um, I think that they're definitely gonna be really easily wipeable because of the neoprene material. So again, you can kind of use them for all different weather if you wanted to take it outside. I just don't think that this um, material is gonna give any problem whatsoever. So just kind of going through this medium style with you really quickly, all of their bags do come with a pouch on the inside. And this medium one here is about this size, <laughs> but I will show you here the mini tote in comparison just quickly. Um, with that tote being smaller, the pouch is also a little bit smaller kind of on the inside, but it is a great pouch. There's no pockets or anything on the inside. Nice, smooth, like metal zipper here. I love that you have kind of this little accessory that comes with the bag. The tote itself now has two handles here at the top. They are not very long, um, but I have kind of seen over time some of the bags that have been used a lot more and like worn in. I feel like this bag is gonna give and kind of stretch and really like wear well over time. I cannot put it over my shoulder. As you can see here, it would be like a crook of the arm type bag for me, for sure. Um, it does not have the option for a crossbody strap. The medium and the large size are just an open type tote, whereas the smaller one, which I'll show you in a second, does have um, an optional crossbody strap. So that may or may not be something that's important to you. Um, these totes also do not have a zipper closure at the top. So they are big, open bucket totes. I personally love that. You guys know I don't zip any of my bags. It's just kind of the way I've always been. So it doesn't bother me whatsoever that they don't have a zipper. And I actually kind of prefer it because there's no obnoxious like flap here at the top that you have to like push in if you're not using the zipper. So um, I love it. I think it's awesome. The bottom does have a base. I can kind of show you here that is sewn in to the bag. So it will give a little bit of structure but not like super stiff. Like as you can see, I'm kind of like able to kind of bend it a little bit, but it will give like a structured base. Um, something else that I love about this tote, which I'll try to maybe insert a picture or something here if I can, but it does sit up on it its own. I don't know if it'll do it with me holding it. <laughs> I don't think it will. Um, but if you have it like on a counter, it's going to like hold its shape and not fall over, which 
I think is kind of cool, especially if it doesn't have a zipper or anything. You want something with like a little bit of structure, but yet something that's gonna be soft and comfortable against the body. Moving on to the other tote that I have, this is the mini tote. Now I believe the one smaller than this is the petite. I was kind of mixing them up. I'm not 100% brand new to the brand, but there is a size even smaller than this one. I love this size for kind of everyday use. It is small, it is cute, it is compact. I love this color, I think it's called I have to look it up. I'll put it here. <laughs> I have forgotten now what it's called, but it is a really pretty kind of like chocolate or walnut type color. Um, I love the way that it looks, especially for fall. And they have a ton of different colors. They release different ones like every season. When I almost purchased some stuff from this brand over the summer, they had like a hot pink color, which I actually think they still have on their website, but it is just, it was, it was so cute. <laughs> but I needed this one for fall and I might, um, if I really, really like it, end up getting a brighter color for spring. So this one here is exactly like the one that I just showed you. It has this pouch here, um, which is exactly the same, only smaller. Um, but you have the optional crossbody strap here at the top of the bag. So if you're not using it, you could easily tuck it in here. Like if you wanted to take it off altogether, you can remove it if you want. Um, but this one, having that strap does give you the option to wear it crossbody on the body. And I love that, especially because it's like a smaller, cuter size, more for like every day. I think it's really cute. So you could obviously wear it crossbody. You could tighten the strap if you wanted to wear it over your shoulder. I'll kind of tighten it here for you and show you what that looks like. I am five foot nothing for size reference. <laughs> so all of um, the straps I typically have to put on the smallest setting, but even that looks super cute, like over the shoulder. I love it. I'm, I am a big, big fan without even packing these up. I think it's gonna be a brand that I'm gonna end up getting a good bit in because I really, really like it. The bottom of this tote also has a sewed in base. Um, so you can't take it out or anything. It's sewn kind of right down the middle there of the bag, giving it just a little bit of um, like structure here on the very um, bottom of the tote. Just for kind of size comparison, as you can see, I can easily with room put the mini tote inside this medium tote. So this medium one I think would be awesome for like travel or like a work bag or a commuting bag would be a great like teacher bag or something like that. I think you can really put a lot inside of here and have like extra room to put like a jacket or a scarf or a water bottle, all that kind of overflow stuff. Whereas the mini tote is gonna be a bit smaller, more like as a purse for um, like running quick errands. So that just kind of gives you an idea of the two compared. <laughs> All right, I think that does it for today's video. I sure hope it was helpful for those of you that were interested in getting a little bit of a taste of this brand. I plan to do a full on packing video on both of these styles and kind of comparing them in a little bit more detail. So if you have any questions around these or want me to pack something specific inside, uh, let me know down in the comments below. I'll try to look at those before I do that video. Um, but if you have any other questions, comments, want to chat bags, um, feel free to comment below or reach out. I'm always happy to help. Until next time, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.